Hello, welcome to our channel. Today we will be presenting Applejack, a tile placement game designed by Uwe Rosenberg and illustrated by Lucas Siegman. It was first published by the Game Builders in 2022. The goal of the game is to collect the most honey by matching the edges of your tree tiles and scoring different apple areas during the harvest. It is a 1 to 4 player game, suitable for anyone over 8, and has a length of 30 to 60 minutes. Let's see what Applejack is about. <laughs> Let's begin with the game preparation. Put the harvest board that matches the number of players in the middle of the table. Turn the die to its one pip face and place it on the starting space of the harvest board. Shuffle and place the tree tiles, showing their pasture side, in reach of all players to create the general supply. From this supply, place two tiles showing their tree side, in each of the seven spaces next to the rows of trees from the harvest board. Spread the honey chips on the side of the play area to create a supply. Then, take one of the orchard boards and place it in front of you with the A side up. Each player will receive a different number of initial honey depending on the number of players. Check the following tables to know how many you will receive. Let's learn how to play the game. Players take turns in clockwise order. A turn consists of these five steps, and they must be performed in the following order. Player order doesn't change during the game, and you can always tell whose turn it is by checking the symbol on the space where the die is currently located. In the first step, check which row of trees has the die on the harvest board and choose a tree tile from one of the two adjacent areas. Alternatively, you can draw a tree tile blindly from the general supply. After selecting a tile, you must pay its price in honey. The price is indicated on the beehives of the tile. If you don't want to or can't pay the price, flip the tile to its pasture side. You will immediately receive two honey, but will have to place the tile showing its pasture side in the following step. In the third step, you will place the tile you picked on any of the free spaces of your orchard board. Tree tiles don't need to be placed next to other tiles on your board. Then, check the edges of the newly placed tile. If you connected two beehives, immediately receive the lower of the two values in honey. If you connect multiple beehives, get the lower number of each connection in honey. In the corners of your orchard, you will also find beehives with numbers on them. You can use them just like the ones on tiles to make beehive connections. In the last step, move the die one position clockwise on the harvest board, bearing in mind the following rules. If you cross one or two apples when moving the die, Interrupt the game briefly so that all players can harvest. To do it, proceed as follows. First, look at the tree tiles on your orchard board with the type of apple harvested. If there are two varieties, both will be harvested separately. If the tree tiles are connected, they create an area. An area may consist of simply one tile. Next, add up all the apples of the variety harvested in each of these areas separately. Then, deduct the number of pips of the die from the result of each area. If the result is below or equal to zero, nothing happens. You don't have to pay a penalty. However, if it is above zero, immediately receive the resulting number in honey. If after moving the die, its new position only provides one tree tile to choose from, add one new tree tile to each of the seven areas, starting with the one next to the row of trees, in clockwise order. There is no limit to the number of tree tiles present in an area. If the die is on the innermost space of the harvest board at the end of your turn, move it back to the starting space across the bridge and perform a blossom scoring. This will happen twice during the course of the game. The blossom symbol on the harvest board will remind you of this special scoring. First, add up all the blossoms in your orchard board. Unlike apples, blossoms don't have to be grouped into areas to score. Then, instead of deducting the number of pips of the die, either one or two, from the result obtained, multiply it. You will receive that number in honey. Finally, turn the die to its next value. The game ends as soon as all players have completely filled their orchard board with tiles.
and the die has reached the space showing a die with three pips surrounded by leaves. Then, perform the final scoring. During the final harvest, each apple variety is harvested again, from brown to yellow, as indicated in the scorepad. Subtract the number of pips of the die, which will be 3, from the result obtained in each area. Next, add up the value of all the crops above 0, and double this last result. If you've scored 4, 5, 6, or 7 different apple varieties in this final harvest, you will receive 4, 11, 21, or 35 additional points. For each blossom on your tree tiles, you will get 1 point. Now, add all the honey in your personal supply to the previous results, and you'll get your final score. The player with the most honey will be the winner. If there is a tie, all tied players share the victory. The game has three variants. With the individual orchard variant, you will use the B-sides of the orchard boards, which are all different. Instead of only beehives, you will also find apples in the corners. You can use them to connect with neighboring tree tiles, and they will count as an apple of the respective color during harvests. With the apple tiles variant, you can use the seven apple tiles to cover randomly, or however you wish, the first seven printed apples on the path of the harvest board. This will allow you to change the order of the first seven harvests. With the additional tree tile variant, players will have an extra tree tile. At the beginning of the game, place one tree tile from the supply, with its tree side up, next to the cottage of your orchard board. During your turn, you will now be able to select this tile instead of one from the two areas next to the current position of the die, or blindly from the supply. If you do this, pay for the tile as usual, or flip it to its pasture side. Then, place it on your orchard board, and take one of the tiles from the selection area, or blindly from the supply, to refill the free space next to the cottage. So this is all you need to know, to play Applejack. What do you think about it? We'd love to read your comments, and remember, if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like it. To be up to date with our latest videos, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell. We will continue playing in our next video.